I'm Eric Danner. Football season kicked off on a Thursday night as CSU Pueblo traveled to Canyon, Texas to take on top 20 ranked West Texas A&M. The Buffs have been to the NCAA playoffs in five of the last six seasons. West Texas leading 10-0 in the second. Damon Sheely comes up with the pick and a nice little return. CSU Pueblo is in business. Ross Dowson, play action. Nice throw to DeAndre Cooper, good for 56 yards. Dowson would punch it in. T-Wolves down 10-7 later in the second. Pueblo down 17-7. Pack gets the running game going. Jamal Johnson, the senior from Fountain, goes 43 yards, that sets up another Dowson touchdown. Pueblo down three just before the half. Kyle Major with a major field goal, 52 yards. Game tied at 17. Pueblo would go on to pull off the shocker, winning 26-24. Major had four field goals, including the game winner with five minutes to go. What a win for the T-Wolves. Nebraska Kearney opening the season at Wayne State. The Wildcats had beaten the Lopers the last two years in a row. Second quarter, UNK down seven. Rustin Dring from three yards out. Dring would rush for more than 100 yards and two scores on the night. Later in the quarter, great fake by Jake Spitzelberger, who scampers five yards in for the touchdown. Lopers lead 14 to 10. They would not give the lead back. Still first half, Spitzelberger, Burger King, the senior from Bear Creek, goes 36 yards for the touchdown. Carney leads 27-17 at the half. They go on to win 41 to 20. Spitzelberger rushes for 288 yards and three touchdowns. He becomes the all-time leading rusher among quarterbacks in UNK history. Colorado Mesa University playing their first game ever with the new name, hosting Humboldt State out of California. First quarter, Mavs defense with a big play. Lumberjacks go for it on fourth down, only to get stuffed, but the highlights for Mesa were few on this night. Second quarter, Mike Prowlix, touchdown pass to Tommy Darcy. Humboldt leads 13 to three, and it didn't get any better after that. Humboldt State defeats Colorado Mesa by a final of 29 to three. We go to Durango, Fort Lewis hosting South Dakota Tech. That is Skyhawks freshman running back Van Grommen going 70 yards for a touchdown in his first collegiate game. Hard to top that, right? How about on the ensuing kickoff, Grauman on the kickoff coverage team scoops up the hard rocker fumble and runs it in for a touchdown. Van Grauman scores two touchdowns in just 10 seconds. We think that is some kind of record, but the NCAA doesn't keep a record for shortest time between touchdowns. Fort Lewis wins their home opener 48 to 30.